Coaching in Focus News from MVP. Hello, this is Ernica Rivera reporting for In Focus News. With me is Mayor Vincent Gray. Uh, tell me, Mayor Vincent Gray, uh, can you talk about your background relating to people with developmental disabilities? Actually, I started my career uh, working with people with disabilities uh, in the District of Columbia. I was executive director of what was known then as the uh, Association for Retarded Citizens. Today it's the ARC. And I had the honor, the pleasure of being able to work to get people out of an institution uh, called Forest Haven uh, to work on a lot of legislation that was designed to bring the kind of dignity to life as a person with a disability that people ought to be able to enjoy in the city. How does your background help with understanding the needs of people with developmental disabilities? Well, my background educationally is in clinical psychology. And I got interested in working with people with disabilities as initially as a volunteer and then working with the ARC. Uh, I did, I've done a lot of different things uh, over the years and being able to see, see people have a chance to live in the community, live among people who are not disabled, to be able to uh, be educated in our schools and we still have a long ways to go to, to uh, ensure inclusion. And also, frankly, to be able to see people get a job and work and not have to be dependent upon uh, the taxpayers uh, to be able to live, to be able to support themselves and earn money and pay taxes. Can you tell me what kind of policies that you can implement for people with developmental disabilities? Well, I think the most important policies are those that promote, promote inclusion, uh, that put people with developmental disabilities in the same environments as people who are not developmentally disabled. We don't, I don't believe that segregation serves anybody very well. And we ought to be able to, to find ways to get everybody included as much as they possibly can be. We've still got a long ways to go with our schools to be able to get all of our kids in a regular school in their neighborhood school. But we certainly have improved in terms of where people live and we certainly have improved in terms of where people work. All right, thank you very much for your time. This is Tarnica Rivera reporting for In Focus News.